Good morning, friends and all our fellow Disney hearts. So we are actually currently in line to go over to the Race Expo. My sister Becky was able to get into the virtual queue first thing, and we're in group four, so we're actually going to hit there first. Then we're going to go head to Hollywood Studios afterwards. I don't know how much we're going to be able to really film inside this expo. It's the first time we've been in this expo, and I just hear it's very, very busy, very hectic. So we will uh, show you what we can. Join us as we begin our D Run Disney Race weekend. Oh boy, here we go. We're getting onto the bus. That's going to bring us over to the expo. So we have just arrived at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. This is where they're actually going to be having the Run Disney Expo. So let's go on inside, see what it's all about. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect. Only from what my sister Becky has told me about it. So we actually just arrived, and it said that our time is, uh, you know, our virtual queue. We're able to go in now, so we're going to head right in. I, I don't know how many other people were told to go in, so it might be a little bit of a wait. We'll check it out. in there and it looks pretty cool in there pretty excited to get in there I don't have my sunglasses on right now do I I'm gonna build here <laughs> so yeah we're almost in so I don't know if you can really hear me right now because it's very very loud loud music a lot of people nothing wrong with that at all it just makes the vibe even more of a happier vibe but uh, we got in we're in line to get into the actual expo so the people that are in where we are right now are people who's groups were called so uh, yeah group four so I mean which is good to start our day off with let me show you what Becky was just showing me let me show you what how full the line can fill up so if you guys look here these are like they're just like zigzag lines so that way you can kind of see how full this could really get this weekend uh, we're not very far we're we're just we're right about here and you can see the entrance right over there so it's we're not far from it, so hopefully it won't take that long. So I'm actually trying something a little different today with the camera setup. It's the same camera, just different setup to see if uh, it'll be give better results. Yesterday, it was the camera got a little wonky a few times yesterday. Uh, I think I had a lot to do with the setup, so I set it up differently today, and we're trying to see if that way we can actually get better results with this kind of setup. So yeah, just let me know in the comments what you guys think. So while we're waiting to get into the expo, because it doesn't open till 10, which is about five minutes, Becky and Jess went to the yoga this morning at 5 a.m. So uh, Jess took some clips, uh, a little bit of what was going on there. So I'll insert those in right now. Welcome to Hollywood. Not a place on a map, but a state of mind that exists wherever people dream and wonder and imagine. A place where illusion and reality are fused by technological magic. We welcome you to a Hollywood that never was and always will be. Disney's Hollywood Studios presents
Disney Movie Magic. Now your host, Walt Disney. How long is it since you had a world premiere? Well, of course, the big, uh, the big important premiere was uh, Snow White, but we had a couple after that. With every laugh, there must be a tear somewhere. I believe it. Was. Time to time, people ask me, which is the favorite of all the pictures that we made? Well, it's the one that you're going to see right now. Watching Carl watch that show. Our friends out there, Carl, Doug, and Russell. <laughs> Representing the Hakuna Matata 10 Miler. Give it up for Rafiki and Timon. Asante Sana. And finally, for our Stitches Ohana challengers out there, let's hear it for Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> here for a few minutes so you guys can grab some photos, grab some selfies, channel some inspo for your costumes, your wardrobe, your inner dream. So that looked like a nice time, didn't it? I, I'm not a yoga person, so I don't be going to yoga, but it did look like a nice time. But now the line is moving, they're letting people in. So we should be in Expo really, really soon. So uh, let's go on inside and check it out. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay, but we're actually getting right inside to the Expo right now, as you can tell. They got shopping bins if you need them. Wow, look at this, guys, huh? Like I said, not really sure what to expect here, but the vibe is really awesome here. It makes me more excited to, uh, for tomorrow's event. So, so these are actually some Springtime Surprise re Weekend uh, race jackets. Guys, we check out this pin. Isn't that cool? Let me also let me show you this hat. 
check out that hat, huh? That is awesome. I love it. So guys, check this out. Found a different hat with the, the Springtime Surprise Weekend on it. That is awesome. This is coming home with me. Okay, so now we just left the merch part of the expo. Now we're heading over to get our bibs and they you also get a free shirt. So uh, we're gonna go pick those up right now. So I tried showing you guys a lot more in there, but like my sister Becky told me and warned me about, it was an absolute madhouse in there. It was like what Black Friday looked like 10 years ago. It was just crazy in there, but it still kept a really happy vibe in there the entire time. Everyone was happy to be there. They're ready for the race weekend. So you could tell everyone's very excited. So as it got me even more excited for tomorrow morning. So we're ready. Let's do this. Yeah, check this out, guys. Going down. It almost gives you a Disney Springs kind of vibe over here. So right now we came to another section of the expo. Like I said, this is where we're going to get our bibs and we're going to get our shirts. So now we're currently in line to get into this part of the expo. But this line seems to be moving kind of quick as well. So hopefully it won't be that long of a wait. Okay, so we finally got in to this part of the expo. Now we're going for, uh, this is our big, uh, this is for our bib pickup right here. So. I don't know if they do the shirts here. We'll find out. Okay, guys. It is superficial now. Got the bib. Okay, now we are in the section where all the vendors are. And this is where we're going to pick up our shirts. This is probably the most crowded part of it that I've seen so far. So now this is the section where you pick up your t-shirts. So right now we came over here so we can get our uh, legs taped up for tomorrow. So yeah, like I mentioned, we're just in line to get our legs taped up for tomorrow. We will actually um, show you the shirts that we got a little later today. It's a little hard to do it right now in here, so we'll show you them a little later today. Never mind, Jess is going to show you right now. Hold on. So these are the ones that Run Disney gave me and Jess. Uh, Becky has a 10K one. Okay, so we just uh, got our uh, taping done. I got the back of my calves done. Jess got her leg done, and Becky's actually getting her leg done right now. I can't really show you mine because mine's in the back of my calves, so it's hard I to show. show. Well, Jess can show you, and then I can show you how Jess got her leg taped up. Let me show you. So as you can see, Jess got her leg taped up right by her knee. So that's where she experiences some pain when she's running. So this should be able to help her. That's Brian's tape. So we're all taped up and ready to go. We just stopped off at one of the vendors. I guess these are called sweaty bands. I guess these are just some bands you can wear around your head when you're racing to help, you know, obviously from getting sweat in your eyes and down your face. They have all kinds of different ones here. They have some Disney themed ones here as well. Just a little bit of an overview of the what it looks like down on the floor with all the vendors here. I was looking over here too at Rock'em Socks. They had some really cool socks over there. A lot of Disney themed ones. If you need shoes, they got shoes. Thank you. Uh, chocolate, thank you. Thank you. So they gave us some free chocolate wafer biscuit things here. So apparently they help promote energy. So probably save those for tomorrow before the race. As you can see, Make-A-Wishes here as well. That's really awesome. I also forgot to show you guys that Jeff Calloway actually signed all our bibs for us, which is pretty awesome. Okay, now we're heading back to the bus because we're now leaving the expo. So we're gonna get on the bus. It's gonna bring us back to our resort over at Pop. We're gonna drop our stuff off. Then we're gonna go head to Hollywood Studios for some more Disney Park fun. So here we go. Heading on the Skyliner to go to Hollywood Studios. Let's go. 
so that was a good time over at the race expo. It was actually really exciting to experience it for my first time, and we'll get um, Jess's reaction and and uh, see what she thought of it too. This was our first time, and it was pretty exciting. A lot, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people. We did get to meet Jeff Galloway, but you know the wonderful world of uh, sorry, it's shaking here. The wonderful world of. Uh, vlogging and podcasting and all that you think you got something good and all of a sudden it's gone so uh but we'll put some pictures in right here so now we're actually on the skyliner and we're on our way to hollywood studios skyliner. so jess what'd you think of the race expo i thought it was fun it was a Great experience to experience it as a participant and not someone who's just going to spectate. So I really enjoyed cool. it. And Becky, compared to the other ones you've been to, anything different? Um, there were way less vendors. Yeah. Um, usually it's wall to wall people in there and you can't breathe, but there was a lot of room to move around. But that could be because we were in the first of four groups. Uh, True. Well, the fourth group. Go. Yeah. But yeah, it went it went fine. There wasn't as much to look at though. Yeah. Cool. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. meeting up with some friends throughout the day today um, we're gonna go meet up with uh, some friends now and then a little bit later on uh, meet up some, with some, uh, some other friends as well so it'll be a fun day at Hollywood Studios hanging out with some friends anyone who is not familiar with Disney's Hollywood Studios this is the Disney park that has both Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land we'll be able to see both of those today so right now we're actually going to go find some lunch because because of such an early day and getting to the expo and everything like that, we haven't eaten today yet. So we're about to go get some lunch because we're all very hungry. So we all want to get lunch before any of us get any hangry. And it looks like we're going to Backlot Express. And here we are at the Backlot Express. Nice relaxing restaurant. You got some tables down below. We got some up here as well. Okay, so uh, we actually had a really good lunch over at the Backlock Express. Really good restaurant. Uh, I had the Cuban, which is a sandwich that has pulled pork, ham, Swiss, pickles, and uh, mustard. It's kind of like a pressed sandwich. It was really good. And uh, I know Becky had a burger and Jess had some uh, chicken tenders, but and they're very reasonably priced. I know my meal alone was just $12, and they all ranged anywhere, you know, depending on what you got, but I think some of the basic meals you're, you're looking at anywhere from probably 12 to $16 somewhere. I mean, some of them go up a little bit more depending on what you want, but uh, yeah, it's a good little quick stop if you need to, to go, so just remember that name, the Backlot Express. So uh, yeah, let's continue on. Also, just wanted to let you know that we have activated Genie Plus today, so we do have Genie Plus on our side today. So we'll see what kind of uh, adventures it lets us on today. We are, right now, Rise of the Resistance is closed, Slinky Dog is closed. Hopefully, they open up, you know, later on today. You know, that's the kind of you know, those are kind of the things that happen sometimes when you have, you know, you know these theme parks run all year round. So every so often, they have to go down to fix things, do refurbs, things like that. So, you know, it's not, you know, it's nothing bad. It's just something they have to do every so often. So, but uh, hopefully they open back up, but we're, you know, we do have uh, reservations for, we have a lightning lane reservation for uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway later on today. So that's one of them we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna look and see what else, what other kind of fun we can get into today. Okay, so I'm going to be heading on to Star Tours. It's standby wait time is only five minutes. So we're, we're actually going to go uh, check it out. They have new storylines in Star Tours right now. So, yep. Thank you again. 
So yeah, we're, we're gonna go check out, see if we can get one of the new storylines that they have that just started up last week. Galactic regulations require all passengers be screened by security prior to boarding. Droids and domesticated creatures must be cleared by customs. So right now we are actually in the queue of Star Tours right now. Okay, so we got my 3D glasses, we're about to head on, but this is not an attraction you can actually film on, so I'm not going to film inside there, but I'll tell you about it when I get off the attraction. So see you after the attraction. So that was really, really cool. The new storylines that I was able to get was actually Mandalorian, Grogu, and Ahsoka. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I will tell you if you, because if, if you're not familiar with any like Walt Disney World attractions or anything like that, if you if you get motion sickness, this attraction is definitely not for you, because there's a lot of movement, a lot of you know spins and things like that. So it's just it's a simulator ride. It's just a lot of movement. So if you get easily get motion sickness, uh, it's probably not the attraction for you. But if you you like the simulator rides, you're gonna love it. But yeah, like I said, it was awesome. You know. Mandalorian, Grogu, and Ahsoka all in one one time. I only went on one time and I got all three, so that was awesome. So right now we're actually heading into Galaxy's Edge, which is the Star Wars land here at Hollywood Studios. Welcome to Galaxy's Edge. So we're actually heading over to Rise of the Resistance right now because it has a 35 minute wait, which is unheard of for this attraction. Some people wait, you know, one, two, sometimes more hours than that. So that's where we're heading to right now. Identify yourselves and prepare. 
is PR-141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the first order, this is to sir. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. You will disembark immediately and proceed down the corridor for interrogation. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're in trouble now. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance will be You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this. Personally.
right for resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Brooke? Yeah. Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Line up. Scatter his pocket. Hey. Well, there you have it, friends. Rise of the Resistance. Love that ride. It was posted 35 minute wait, but we felt more, it was probably more like a 45 minute wait. It probably changed right after we passed the sign, which 45 minutes for that attraction is not bad at all. Uh, some people wait hours for it, so it's not, not that bad at all. Definitely a must do here at Hollywood Studios. So right now we're just strolling through Galaxy's Edge. This really is a very immersive land. Oh, look at the little droids over here. All right, so we are actually heading out of a Galaxy's Edge right now, heading into Toy Story Land, because Toy Story Land is right next to Galaxy's Edge. We have our Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway uh, reservations that we're going to go to, and then we have another uh, Lightning Lane as well. So they're kind of back to back. So we're heading over there now. We'll probably come back maybe a little later to Galaxy's Edge for Ronto Wraps. Got some H2O. So yeah, oh, I hear the uh, green toy soldiers coming through. So we're walking through Toy Story Land right now, as you can see. And it's made to look like something that Andy built. But there's Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog is a very, very uh, fun roller coaster. Very fun. Slinky Dog has an extremely long wait most of the time, just like Galaxy's Edge. There's uh, Woody and Jesse doing some meet and greets as well. So we're actually going to get into our other Lightning Lane reservation first before Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which right now we're in Toy Story Mania. So that's the one we're gonna do first. All right, looking pretty cool in my 3D glasses right now. Here we go. I probably won't vlog the whole thing because I gotta try to get some good points here. But here we go. Hey, howdy, hey! Welcome to our practice game. Jeff, hold the screen. Watch those pies. One, five, three, Coming in fast. Not a cute I think they got the hang of Way to play, everyone. That was a bunch of fun. I got a score of 82,000, a little over that. Becky got 156, Jess got 56,000, and I got 82,000. So Becky's the winner. <laughs> but a lot of fun. Now we're gonna go meet up with a friend, and we did have reservations for Mickey and Minnie, Minnie's Runaway Railway, but it's currently down, so hopefully that comes back up. So Roundup Rodeo, that's right there. That is an incredible restaurant. If you ever come to Toy Story Land, definitely check out that restaurant. We went there last uh, visit that we here, had here in November. I'll, I'll put that video in the link below so you can check that out. Mickey and Minnie's Wonder Railway really actually went down, so they actually gave us a lightning lane that we could use for something else. Mickey and Minnie's just opened up, so we're going to use that lightning lane for something else because the standby for Mickey and Minnie's right now is actually really short, so we're going on that. We'll, we'll use our lightning lane for something else later today. Oh, hi, you folks. You want to take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you wait. Do you mind 
helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here Loki movie? Right, yes, I guess so. Thanks! You'll be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! <laughs> Here we go. Hey, look what we found. It's Abram. That was fun. Uh, one of my favorite attractions because I just I've always wanted Mickey Minnie to have their own attraction for such a long time. They finally got it, so it was just an awesome attraction. Well, it's snack time. What to get? What to get? What to get? Just so you guys know, if you guys see these uh, leaf emblems there, this is what it means: made without animal meat, dairy, eggs, and honey. Okay, snack time with a Mickey pretzel. Here we go, ears first. Okay, now that we stopped for a quick snack, we're actually gonna make our way over to Terra Terra because apparently it has a 20 minute wait. Which, again, is, doesn't happen very often with that attraction. We still haven't used our lightning lane pass, so we'll probably use it for something a little later on today. We already have a lightning lane scheduled for Tower of Terror right now, but we're like, eh, 
I mean, yeah. sometimes it's hard to get on that attraction more than once in one day. So if it really is a 20 minute wait, that means we'll get on twice today. And there she be, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. I love this attraction. And I know I say that a lot, but this is a really good attraction. Disney attractions in general are just really good attractions. Especially if you're looking for something to do with the family. I mean, our, our kids can go on Tower of Terror. Our, our six-year-old can go on it, and he loves it. So does our eight-year-old. So it's a really fun attraction. Now it's oh saying 15-minute wait. So here is the awesome queue of Tower of Terror. Here we go. You were the passengers. When stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door. That door is opening once again. This time, it's opening for you. discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. Here we go. Beyond the deepest, darkest corner of your imagination in the Tower of Terror. <laughs> oh, I love this. What an incredible attraction that is. I love that attraction. It, it is just, there's just something about it. it it's an older attraction, but it, it's, it's a classic. It's definitely a must-do here at Hollywood Studios. So if, as long as you don't mind uh, dropping, because it, it's, it's like a drop tower. You go up, you drop, and I tried to show you a little bit in there. I know it's, it's a dark ride, so it's hard to see and it's hard to film, but I tried to get as much as I could for you guys. So, But a lot of fun. You guys definitely have to check it out. So we're actually on our way to go get a, another snack because there's this special cookie for the Tower of Terror that we want to go try out. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go get it and let you guys know what we think of it. So if you want to find this Tower of Terror cookie, this is the entrance of Tower of Terror. You just kind of keep coming down this way. And there's a Joffrey's right over here, and this is where it's located. Now let's see if they have any left. But this is where you're going to find it. Right here at the Joffrey's stand, right next to Tower of Terror. There they are. They have them. Let's do this. I'm also going to try out this Frozen in Fear drink right here. A 
bone chilling combination of frozen lemon, Minute Maid premium lemonade, and wild grape. Here it is, guys. The Tower of Terror cookie, right here. Whole bunch of goodness going on here. And here it is. Frozen in fear drink. Look at the inside of this cookie, huh? This looks amazing. Guys, you have to get this. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. This cookie is so good. So good. So this is really good too. It's very sweet, but refreshing at the same time. So if you like something that's really sweet, I think you'll like it. But if you don't like something that's kind of over the top sweet, I don't think you'll like it, but I like it. Grape and lemonade. Grape is a, kind of a really sweet flavor to begin with, so is lemonade, so you're kind of putting the two together. But it is very refreshing because it's frozen. So, But both things, two thumbs up, success. So my only recommendation about this drink, don't drink it too fast. Because I got a major brain freeze right now. So yeah, don't drink it too fast. A mama duck and a baby duck. How cute. Okay, so we decided to come back to the Planet Batu over here in Galaxy's Edge. Probably for a Ronto wrap as well. It's not a Disney trip unless you get a Ronto wrap. <laughs> so if you're looking for a Ronto wrap, if you come down into this marketplace area, this is where you actually find the Ronto wraps towards the end of the marketplace area. This is a pretty cool area too. It has all kinds of like Star Wars merch if you're into Star Wars. Some of it's pretty unique kind of merch too. All right, and here we are. This is the area you're gonna find the Ronto wraps. I don't know how much you can hear me because it's very loud in here. But you can actually see the droid making the food. Walk around. Okay, slight change of plans. Uh, that is normally where you will find the Ronto wrap, but right now the area is temporarily closed. So uh, they told us to go over to the Docking Bay 7, and that's where we will find the Ronto wraps today. And here we are in Docking Bay 7. It's not far from where um, the other area where I showed you to get the Ronto wraps. And uh, we, we had the mobile order to be able to get the Ronto Wrap. And there it is, the infamous Ronto Wrap. It has this sausage and I think Billy has like a piece of pork in there and coleslaw. And, and it's uh, just really, really, really good. Got Ray walking through. So uh, Becky and Jess decided to go back to the resort. They were getting really tired, so they decided to go back to the resort. So it's just me. Uh, probably gonna meet up with a meeting up with a friend later on, and uh, just strolling around, you know, Hollywood Studios. Because sometimes it's you don't always get a chance to just take a stroll around Hollywood Studios. It's just nice, you know, the vibes and the music, and just everything. I mean, it's busy, but it's not super busy here. So, and currently, I'm actually going back to the Hollywood Tower of Terror because we have another lightning lane for the Hollywood Tower of Terror. So, uh, you know, get to go on it twice in a day. I mean, that's that's awesome. So, that's where I'm going right now. I'm not going to worry about filming it because I already filmed it earlier today. But uh, I'm just going to go on for the fun of it because 
I love that attraction, and if I can get on it twice in one day, then then that's what I'm gonna do. So here we go. Wow, second time around, just as fun as the first, and all the other, and also all the other times I've been on Tower of Terror. Just love that attraction. But something I really like when I go on different attractions, especially like Tower of Terror, is like you can tell who is like a first time timer on that kind of attraction. So seeing their reactions and expressions on these attractions is, is sometimes comical. And it's just fun to watch sometimes, you know, and then ask them how they like it afterwards. And the majority of the time, people really like the rides. Some people, they, they may say, oh, I really like it, but it won't go on again. But either way, great time. The park is closing in about an hour and a half because they close at 9 o'clock tonight. But, uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is probably getting something to eat uh, at a place that I've been really wanting to try. And I'll show you that place in a little bit. And after, after I get something to eat, I'm probably going to head back to the resort because I do want to rest up a little bit because tomorrow is race day. It's the, run, it's the run Disney event for the springtime surprise. And it's an early morning. And I know I probably shouldn't push myself. And I know... Becky and Jess are already at the resort doing the same, so I'm probably going to follow suit and do the same thing uh, after I get something to eat. Now let me go walk over to where I'm going to eat. I'll show you what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, here we are. Fair tax fair. Now let's go get some dinner. So pretty much what they serve here at Fair Tax Fair is they serve meals that are in a bowl, but the bowl is edible. I hear there's a buffalo chicken one here that I really want to try. I don't know if it's still available. We're going to check it out. But either way, I think we're going to try one of the uh, one of their meals here. Just check out what they got. I'm hoping they have the buffalo chicken one. And if not, we'll find something else. Okay, guys, we did it. We went to a fair tax fair. We got the buffalo chicken bowl. Let me show it to you guys so you guys can see this. Look at all this goodness. There it is. So this is the buffalo chicken bowl. It has... Obviously, the buffalo chicken, it's topped with coleslaw, and it's resting on a bed of mashed potatoes, and then you got the waffle bowl that it's in. So you, the whole thing is edible, except the plate, obviously. But you got the coleslaw, you got the buffalo chicken, underneath is the mashed potatoes, and then right here, you have the uh, waffle bowl. Now, I'll come over here, and I did end up getting the Bell Cup of Enchantment. It is a, it has a passion fruit, cranberry guava orange juice with they said yellow shimmer and also has some strawberry polo pearls as well so we're gonna check this out as well and uh, both of them look really good I'm very excited to dive in first let's try the bell cup of enchantment that's really good very similar to the uh, pog juice over at uh, Ohana so big fan that's a win for me okay hands down amazing and I got a bite of everything all in one with the chicken the, the uh, coleslaw and the mashed potatoes awesome definitely a win for me and uh, this one in particular if you don't like spice you're not gonna like it but there's other options to get here too so definitely uh, come to Fair Tax Fair and check out some of their meals because really good and they're very uh, the, the prices are not bad they ranged anywhere from like I say 12 to 18 dollars for their meals so it's uh, de definitely a, a good amount of food with it as well so uh, two thumbs up for me for both things that I got today buffalo chicken bowl and the bell cup of enchantment well after an awesome meal at fair tax fair which by the way like I said was awesome highly recommend it uh, it was just really good. I ate the entire thing, you know, the, the buffalo chicken, the mashed potatoes, coleslaw, then to top it off, the waffle bowl, then the bell cup of enchantment. I mean, my whole meal was awesome. So, two thumbs up from me. But I've had to rate it between one and ten, ten being the best, one the lowest. I would probably say eight and a half. Now, the reason being... I thought the entire meal was really good. It was just a little bit too much mashed potatoes for me. I, I like mashed potatoes. It was just a lot. I honestly think if they would have put um, probably maybe some, some rice inside the bowl instead of mashed potatoes, that would have brought it over the edge. That would have been over 10 for me. So 
But yeah, I think maybe putting some rice in that bowl instead of mashed potatoes, I think that would go beyond 10. But either way, still really, really good. But uh, yeah, now I'm probably gonna head out of the park. The Fantasmic crowd is starting to get a little busy. And like I said, we've seen Fantasmic many times. And I'd love to see it again tonight because I just love Fantasmic. But I want to try to beat the Fantasmic crowd after, you know, because once Fantasmic lets out, it gets really busy and then it's really hard to get back to, you know, where you're going afterwards. So, and I want to be able to get back at a decent time so I can relax a little bit before race day tomorrow because, uh, yeah, we got to get up super early tomorrow. We got to get up by 2 a.m. tomorrow to get the bus. I think the bus is going to be there between like 2.30 and 3 to pick us up. So it's going to be a very early morning. So I want to be able to get enough sleep so that way I can last all day tomorrow because after the race, we're going to be spending the day in Epcot. Now, the race is actually taking place in Epcot. So majority of the race, we're actually going to be running through Epcot. So, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me as, uh, as I'm running. I'm not going to film, you know, every minute for minute, but I'm, you know, I'm going to show you bits and pieces of it and what it's like to be in the race. So that's going to be tomorrow's vlog. I'm excited. I know I can do it. I know 5k for some people is not much, but for me, it's a big deal because it took a lot to get to this point. You know, like I've mentioned a few times, you know, I, I was involved in a very bad car accident where a drunk driver hit me head on and you know I had a lot of um, you know injuries and one of them being my ankle my ankles damaged for life sometimes I walk with a limp but I'm Florida when I'm in Florida not so much because the the hot humid weather for me helps me it makes my body feel really good so so yeah we're really really excited have a good night. Okay, so we're going to go make our way back over to the Skyliner, because the Skyliner will bring us right over to our resort, which is Pop Century. So that's a benefit That's a benefit for staying at Pop Century, is you have the, uh, the Skyliner to bring you right back to your resort, so you don't have to take a bus. And it shouldn't be that busy right now, because there's not a ton of people who leave in the park right now, because a lot of people want to see Fantasmic. So, like I said, tomorrow's going to be an early day. We got the race, then we are spending the day in Epcot. It's going to be an awesome day. We're going to do the race, and we're going to do good. We're going to cross that finish line. Today was a really good day. You know, the girls got up early. They went to yoga over at Hollywood Studios. They came back, rested up a little bit more. Then we went to the race expo, which was a lot of fun. Got our bib, got our shirt. Learned a little bit, got our legs taped up. So that was a lot of fun. Then we came to Hollywood Studios for the rest of the day. I know the girls left a little bit early, but I, I stayed a little bit longer. We went a lot of attractions. We did have Genie Plus. I think Genie Plus paid off a little bit. We got on a good amount of attractions, but not all of them. So I would say, you know, Genie Plus did pay off a little bit. and. This park in particular can be a little tricky when it comes to Genie Plus because it has a lot of e-ticket attractions. You know, it has Slinky Dog, it has Rise of the Resistance, you know, it has Hollywood Tower of Terror, you know. So, you know, it has a lot of attractions and Slinky Dog and Rise of the Resistance are usually the first ones to go, you know, to all the reservations to uh, get all taken. So, but yeah, so it paid off a little bit and then, you know, just walked around, really got to enjoy Hollywood Studios by just walking around. And then to end the night, Fair Tax Fair had an awesome meal with the Buffalo Chicken Bowl and the Bell Cup of Enchantment. And while I was there enjoying an awesome meal, I, I met a family, I forgot to catch their names, but they came up to me and talked a little bit and it was just nice chatting with them for a few minutes. So, you know, uh, if you guys are watching this vlog, it was nice meeting you guys. and. Thank you for your support, and just thank you for coming up and saying hi. You know, we love that. So, uh, thank you again. It was an awesome, awesome day. We're going to see you tomorrow in the next vlog. So, until then, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, your love and support. And until the next vlog, be the reason somebody's day is magical. Bye, guys. Ladies and gentlemen.
Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We are on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Epcot International Gateway, Disney's Pop Century Resort, and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. We hope you enjoyed your visit to Hollywood today. Now wave goodbye to your adoring fans below. Bye!